good morning students today's lecture on unit 2 lecture number 18 simple stresses and strain topic numerical on stress strain and modulus of elasticity we will take some six problem all are related to stress strain and modulus of elasticity very simple problem let's see first we will see the formula simple stress and strain due to axial force. Now, the force applied is axial. Stress is equal to force divided by A. Strain, change in length, that is delta L, divided by original length L. Modulus of elasticity E is equal to stress divided by strain. Change in length or deformation, delta L is equal to L divided by AE or delta L is equal to sigma L divided by E. So these are the formula which we will be using in solving today's numerical. First numerical a rod 1 meter long and 20 mm and 20 mm in cross section is subjected to a pull of 10 kN force. Determine the stress in rod. P 10 kN, length 1 meter converted to 1000 mm, B width 20 mm, D 20 mm. Area of cross section A is equal to 20 into 20 400 square mm. This is a rectangle cross section. Here is the diagram. In blue color is the given force. And length 1000 mm. The depth here D is the depth 20 mm. The width not shown here is 20 mm. The S it's under subjected to tensile force. So both side force P given in blue is shown to find stress in rod sigma is equal to p divided by p is equal to 10 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 400 sigma is equal to 25 newton per mm square next a load of 6 kilo newton is to be raised with the help of steel cable. Find the minimum diameter of steel cable if stress not exceed 110 Newton per mm square. We have to find diameter D load P is equal to 6 kN given. Stress is equal to sigma is equal to P divided by we substitute the value 110 is equal to 6 into 10 raised to 3 divided by pi d square by 4. Rearranging and solving it, we get diameter d is equal to 8.33 mm. Next, question number 3. In a tension test, a metallic rod of diameter 16 mm produced an elongation of 48 mm when subjected. 19 kilonewton load. The length of bar is 150 mm. Find modulus of elasticity. We have to find here modulus of elasticity that is E. D is given, P is given, length is given, and delta L is given. So, how we solve it? E, we know it. This is the diagram. Everything is given as a diagram. Modulus of elasticity. E is equal to stress by strain. Now here we have to first find stress, then strain, then E. Sigma is equal to P divided by A. Substituting the value, we get the stress is equal to 0. 448 kilonewton per mm square. 
small e is equal to strain that is change in length divided by original length delta l divided by n substituting the value delta l is 48 original 150 we get strain is equal to 0 0.32 now we have to find modulus of elasticity is equal to stress divided by strain that is sigma divided by small e is equal to 0 0.448 divided by 0 0.32 we get E is equal to 1.4 kN per mm square. Determine the tensile force on a steel bar of circular cross section 25 mm diameter if strain equal to 0 0.75 into 10 raised to minus 3 considered E is equal to 200 GPM here we have to determine P ok so D E E that is strain given diameter D given modulus of, of elasticity E given we have to find P to find P we have to first find stress and then we have to multiply it by area let's see this is the drawing. To find tensile stress, first we have to find stress. We know E is equal to sigma divided by small e. Rearranging it and substituting the value, we get sigma is equal to, that is sigma is equal to stress is equal to 150 Newton per mm square. Now we have to find load. What is load? load is nothing but force sorry stress into area stress into area so here sigma is equal to p divided by rearrange we get p that is load is equal to stress into area p is equal to sigma into area substituting the value okay we get p is equal to 7363.1 Newton tensile. Next, question 5. A mild steel flat 100 mm wide, 12 mm thick, and 5 meter long carries an axial load of 20 kN. Find stress, strain, and change in length. I'm sorry. E is equal to 2.1 into 10 raised to 5 megapascal. This is the diagram. It's a flat length 5 meter. Its width is just 100 mm and thickness is 12 mm. Okay. And both sides the force P is both side the force P is applied. So P is given, E is given, length is given. Solution as usual, we have to find stress stress is equal to p divided by a that is 20 into 10 raised to 3 divided by area the area cross section area uh, 100 is the width 12 is the depth so we get stress is equal to 16.67 newton per mm square then we will find strain strain how we will find by the formula capital E that is modulus of elasticity is equal to stress divided by strain. Rearranging it, we get small e is equal to sigma divided by capital E. Substituting the value E is equal to 7.94 into 10 raised to minus 5. So here we get E. 
that means we are getting strain now what we have to find we know strain we have to find change in length strain is nothing but change in length divided by original length change in length divided by original length. so to find change in length is equal to e is equal to delta l divided by l but here we have to know delta l rearranging it substituting the value we get delta l is equal to 0 0.397 mm that is the change in l number six a wire 4 mm in diameter 4 meter long is subjected to an axial pull of 1890 newton is stretched by 3 mm under the axial pull induced find modulus of elasticity you have to find e capital e p is given <laughs> is given length is given delta l is given so to find e Need, need stress we need strain to find stress we need load p and we need area to find strain we need delta l and length let's see first here we have find stress so stress p sigma is equal to p divided by a substitute the value p 1890 divided by pi d squared divided by 4 substitute the value of d we get 1890 divided by pi 4 square divided by 4 sigma is equal to 150.4 newton per mm square next to find strain e induced strain is equal to change in length delta l divided by original length l is equal to 3 divided by 4000 we get is equal to 7.5 into 10 raised to minus 4 so to find modulus of elasticity e is equal to sigma divides divided by e strain so we get modulus of elasticity is equal to 200.53 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square so these are the six problem thank you